school, the happiest place on earth. No, wait, that's Disneyland. The truth is, school is quite often the opposite of the happiest place on earth. But why is that? Is it because of the soul-crushing work? If so, why do only some people seem to suffer? Is there truly an underlying cause as to why some people loathe school? Does this have to do more so with the way schools are operated? Or is it a social issue? These are some of the questions I would like to have the answers to as a student myself. I personally believe that society is the biggest contributor to bullying, mental illness, and general unhappiness at school. Let me paint a picture for you. School is in session. Students crowd into the hallways, passing the no bullying posters tacked onto the bulletin boards. Bullying in the form of physical violence is clearly not allowed at school, and any student can easily identify physical bullying when they see it. However, it is less certain whether the average student would be able to recognize other forms of bullying, especially in their own behaviors. Exclusion, cyberbullying, and spreading rumors are among the most common forms of bullying, yet go widely unrecognized by parents, teachers, and students alike. This leads to a culture in which bullying is not seen for what it is, and students knowingly or unknowingly continue to hurt others emotionally, socially, and mentally. But why do these behaviors occur if not only to hurt others? Are things like exclusion byproducts of school society itself? It's easy to see how when students form closed social circles, some can get left out or excluded from the group. However, it is important that we recognize how hurtful being left out can be for a person's mental and emotional health. Furthermore, this raises the question of other types of bullying. How many are also caused by poor principles of school society? Any middle or high school student can tell you that the key to being popular or well-liked is to be cool or fit in. This leads to a social order in which those who are like the group are accepted and those who are different are rejected. But what exactly decides what is cool or in in the first place and why is that better than embracing individuality? Now those who may have previously been praised for being creative or unique are bullied and made fun of for being different or weird. To young minds looking to find themselves in the most socially vulnerable stage of their lives, this type of bullying can be extremely damaging. It's easy to see how school can turn into such a miserable place for so many people when school society itself encourages bullying culture and bullying behaviors that can victimize nearly anyone. Following the causes of different types of bullying, it is equally important that we recognize the possible effects that bullying can have on individuals. Victims of bullying are more likely to develop mental health disorders such as depression or anxiety, eating disorders, dropping grades, and general unhappiness can all result from bullying. Victims of bullying are also at a higher risk of committing suicide as they are two to nine times more likely than non-victims to attempt to take their own lives. A small number of those who have been bullied may choose to seek revenge through extremely violent measures as nearly 75% of school shooters have been victims of bullying and harassment at school. Countless people have taken the lives of themselves and others as a result of bullying. Innocent people have died because of bullying culture. So I return to my original question. What is the real reason that school seems like such a bummer to some? Is it the bombardment of physical, mental, and emotional abuse taken by some and perpetuated by others at school? Is it the psychological wounds caused by bullying at school that cause the location itself to take on such a loathsome connotation? It can't just be the work, can it? <laughs>